Michael and Susie came to me for legal advice. I reviewed the paperwork from Fox. And quite frankly, I was shocked. Hey, all I know is I got a contract with signatures from them. They don't want to honor that? Fine, no problem. I'll sue them. Take them to court. Let me tell you something. Nobody fucks with Fox. As an entertainment attorney, I thought I'd seen it all. But this maneuver was even new to me. I take them to court, you know? I gonna sue their asses. This guy is vermin. A real rat boy. Hello, Mr. Ronson. That's rather a different outfit. Crystal, I walked out on the van. The record deal, Cyber Jam, it's all bullshit. Thank God I still got you. Crystal, are you okay? It's over between us, John. You're all wrong for me. What? What do you mean? Look at you. You're a mess. Your whole life is a mess. You have no money, no job. You have no respect for me or my home. And besides, you're a musician. And musicians are immature children incapable of responsible action. Immature? How can you say these things? I mean, I know we've had a few problems and we've been a little distracted, but... Baby work things out. No, it's over. What do you fucking mean it's over? Please leave, Mr. Ronson. You're not wanted here. Speak for yourself, Darius. Hi, Hanson. Want a drink? Three. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Come on, beautiful. Let's get out of here. He's gone, my dear. You won't see him again. So I heard they're having problems with this Fox guy. And it just so happened I was working on a film and Fox was the cameraman. What a surprise. So I talked to him. Yeah, and that bitch walks into my office, my office, like Nelson fucking Mandel, Little Miss Peacekeeper, right? I dropped my shorts, I said, hey, you want to straighten things out? Why don't you start with this? Yeah, well, I just took one look, and I was like, are my eyes in focus, or is that the smallest fucking thing I've ever seen? And naturally, she laughed. I took one look? I couldn't stop laughing. It was the smallest dick I'd ever seen. In the meantime, Will was using Fux for his own movie, and he sunk every penny that he had into it. He and Fux got into a huge fight, so Fux shot his film entirely out of focus. Nobody fucks with Fux. <laughs> Will didn't know this until the film was finished. He took it real hard. A little piece of shit shot the whole thing out of focus. Every fucking penny I had. Eight years of writing, working some bullshit restaurant job, saving up <laughs> tips. What am I supposed to feel sorry for this guy? He couldn't cry on camera, so now he's got to cry after the fact. Look, I own your film, I got a contract, your check bounced at the bank, motherfucker. You owe me money. That's what you owe me. What are you going to do about it? That's what I want to know. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, you wanna do something? Do it right now, let's do it! Oh, man, hey, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, look, hey, you ruined my movie. It's just a movie, we're gonna sacrifice your fucking life? Yeah. You fucking believe this guy? Hey! You ruined my you career. Just... Hey, will somebody stop this guy? You ruined my Christ! fucking life, man! God damn it, no! Die, motherfucker, die! Don't you dare turn that for him. Don't you dare turn that fucking camera off. I used to be happy. I used to have something to live for. And I did. An independent feature film. Poor Will. 
His noble sacrifice will allow indie filmmakers everywhere sleep just a little easier tonight. Wherever you are, Will, thanks. We'll miss you, buddy. Take it from a former Christian. Fox is going to hell! It is so sad that there are people like Dwayne Fox in this world. Goodbye, Will. We love you. God bless you. Just the right amount of salt. Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't you get some rest? I have a very special evening planned tonight just for the two of us, alright? Mm -hmm.